Good morning, students. In our last class, we have discussed about the last topic, changes in matter. So today we will discuss the book exercises for lesson number one, matter physics. Okay. First, you will write the vocabulary, all the definitions in your fair notebook. Then, uh, let's see the book exercises, page number eight. You have to do these exercises. Fill in the blanks. Uh, true, false. Cut, choose the correct option and matching in the book and we'll do short and precise give reasons answer in short in notebook okay so question number a fill in the blanks the intermolecular force varies from matter material to material you will write second number the particles of matter always show attraction towards each other the molecules in a solid do not move around Weak intermolecular force causes expansion in liquids. Five number. The different states of matter are interchangeable. Okay. So, I-N-T-E-R-C-H-A-N-G-E-A-B-L-E. -E. This will be the answer. Ice melts to form water. So, these are the answers of the fill in the blanks question. Okay. Now, let's see state whether the following statements are true or false so you will write t for true and f for false some molecules can be seen with the help of naked eyes so it's false molecules are very small an element is a substance which cannot be subdivided into two or more simpler substances by any physical or chemical means that's true solids can be beaten into thin sheets that's false uh, only metals can be beaten into thin sheets, okay, because metals are malleable and ductile. Molecules can be made of some types of at, uh, same types of atoms only, that's false. Compound molecules are made up of different types of atoms, okay. The uh, different states of matter are interchangeable, that's true. Then C, C number question, choose the correct option. Dash are called the building blocks of matter. So, you have to write molecules here because molecules have independent existence. Atoms do not have. Okay. Which of these do not have a fixed volume? So, you will write gases. The molecules of a gas are loosely packed. Okay. B number. Four number. Dash cannot be compressed easily. So, write solids. Five number. Dash, take the shape of container they are poured in. So, this is the characteristic of a liquid. So, write liquids. The intermolecular forces are strongest in solids because the particles are very close to each other. Then, see, D number question match the following. So, most rigid, that will be solid. Fixed volume and indefinite shape, that is the characteristic of liquid, E number Maximum intermolecular space, so that will be B number, gases. Solid to liquid, that is called melting. Okay, and liquid to solid, that is called uh, freezing. So, solid to liquid uh, will be by heating, solid is turned into liquid. So, A number will be the correct answer for 4 number. And uh, for 5 number, you will write cooling. Okay. So, this will be the answer. So, for uh, one number, the answer will be C, solid. Two number, E, liquid. Uh, three number, B, gas. Four number, A, heating. And five number, D, cooling. So, I will write these answers. Okay. You have to do matching this way. No cross matching. Now, we will see short and precise. So, here you need to show in the form of flowcharts. States of matter and interconversion of states of matter now let's see how to make these flow charts now let's see short and precise so first question show the processes in the form of flow chart so you have to make a flow chart first is states of matter so you will make like this uh, states of matter one arrow you will give and you will write composed of and you will uh, make uh, two columns for that atoms and molecules and then from the downside, you'll make three columns for solid, liquids and gases. Then downside, you'll may, uh, write uh, the examples uh, of solid, liquid and gases. Two, two. Okay. Now the next one, uh, the uh, 
changes in state of matter so this uh, you will make like this so solid you will put an arrow and a straight arrow you will write heating and the process name melting and it will be converted into liquid then from liquid you will again put an arrow back to the solid you will write cooling and downside that arrow freezing okay then liquid again the same heating that will turn into gas in the process name vaporization and from gas again one arrow back to the liquid cooling and you will write the process name condensation then you will put an arrow directly from solid to gas you will write the process name sublimation by heating and cooling from gas to liquid okay like this you will write then come to give reasons for the following statements first is solids have a fixed shape and size so you will write the reason as the constituent molecules are held closely at fixed positions due to strong intermolecular force of attraction solid have a fixed shape and size so after attraction you will put a comma and then you will write okay and uh, you will put a full stop at the last see the second one solids expand very little on heating now you have to put a one line gap okay in between the questions uh, due to a strong intermolecular force of attraction between the molecules solids expands very little on heating okay third number again you will leave one line and then write the third question with a black pen the fragrance of an incense uh, stick spreads out in air due to a distance you will write the reason the molecules of gases move freely in all directions due to weak intermolecular force of attraction you can also write due to almost negligible intermolecular force of attraction and you will write uh, after that you will put a uh, comma and you will write so the mol uh, fragrance of incense stick spreads out in air to a distance okay fourth number molecules of gases move freely in all directions again you will write the same uh, reason the intermolecular force uh, force in gases is almost negligible full stop due to this the molecules in gases are very loosely packed then the last question liquids expands more than solids then you will write the reason due to weak intermolecular force comma heating causes expansion in liquids then in the next video we'll discuss the answers in short and at length questions okay